Well, hello. How are you? I hope you are genuinely doing well. I am the Amateur Logician from AmateurLogician.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at Ian Hacking's book, An Introduction to Probability and Inductive Logic. Now, on my YouTube channel, we've talked a lot about deduction. We've covered propositional logic. We've got many, many videos on propositional logic and predicate logic. Not so much on induction, so I want to rectify that. And I want to recommend this book. It's not written for the mathematician, so don't worry. Um, this is, so to speak, written for a more general audience. It is a textbook, nonetheless. It is an academic book, but it takes a philosophical approach. It's not about memorizing equations, but trying to conceptually understand what probability is, trying to take a philosophical approach to induction. And I really like this book. It's well written, and you will conceptually grasp the material even if you're not great at math, because it does take that conceptual, slow approach. So I really like this book. I highly recommend it. So let's take a look at the table of contents here. So it starts off just with, well, what is inductive logic? So the first section, so to speak, is chapter one and two, logic, what is inductive logic? And then we get into how to calculate probabilities, the gambler's fallacy. So there's a whole chapter on that fallacy, so it's actually quite good. I like that. Um, elementary probability ideas, conditional probability, the basic rules of probability, Bayes' rule. And then it gets into how to combine probabilities and utilities, expected value, maximizing expected value, decision under uncertainty. So there will be math in here, for sure, but it takes a gentle approach and it wants you to conceptually understand this material as best as possible. But once you do have a more conceptual understanding, it's not so hard and the math is not so hard. So this is great, I like this book. Kinds of probability, what do you mean? Theories about probability. We have probability as a measure of belief, personal probabilities, coherence, learning from experience. We have probability as frequency, stability, normal approximations, significance and power, confidence in inductive behavior, and then probability applied to philosophy. The philosophical problem of induction, okay, going back to David Hume. Uh, learning from experience as an evasion of the problem of induction. Inductive behavior as an evasion of the problem of induction. And there are answers to exercises, which is great because you can check your work. Um, so there's another reason I like this book. It doesn't just give you exercises, but it gives you the answers. So you can check to make sure you're on the right track. Um, so I really enjoy this book. Um, or have enjoyed just going through it. And um, even a non-math person, I think, will benefit from this book and enjoy this book if you are interested in the topic of induction. And that's something we should not neglect. If you want to think more logically and clearly, you should know some induction. You should know some probability theory. It doesn't mean you have to become an expert, um, but you should know the basics. And I wanted to recommend this book. Um, I'm going to produce a few more videos on induction, and I also have a René Descartes series coming up soon. Um, I'm planning to create a whole course on traditional verbal style logic. Um, it takes time, though, so I am working on it and brainstorming on it and, and so forth. But I really appreciate um, your viewership and support. Um, again, you can visit my website at amateurlogician.com. I have a newsletter there. You can sign up to it. Um, you can also buy me a cup of coffee. If you so choose to uh, support my work, I would really appreciate that. Um, until next time, uh, I'll see you. Be well, and uh, good luck to you.